Okay, so let's try and implement chaining as a collision handling strategy. So right now I have uh, an array of entries, but I actually want an array list, uh, sorry, an array of array lists of entries like this. Um, and so now I need to change this as well. <coughs> Can I do this? No. Yeah, yeah, all right, that's fine. Okay, so done that. All right, so what do I want now? So this is actually probably not going to be sufficient for, well, it depends on what we want. So let's think about this. So we've got an array of array lists, but we've never actually made any array lists yet. Um, so if I was gonna access element zero here, it would be null. It wouldn't be an array list. Um, so if I want to fill this with array lists, I'd actually have to loop over it and create new array lists for each location. I think I don't want to do that actually. I think I just want to do that kind of on demand. So if I encounter a null, excuse me, if I encounter a null element, I'll create an array list right there when I need it. Um, so let's go ahead and look at put now. Um, this does not need to change. This probably does, but I'm going to think about it second. <coughs> um, Let's go ahead and change this one, put into array. So here I'm gonna change this to array list of entry. Did that fix my issue up here? It did, okay. Um, so I still wanna make an object, that's right. I still wanna hash, that's right. Um, if the index is empty, that means that nothing's been stored there yet. So instead I want to create an array list here. <coughs> Excuse me. And instead of storing it here, what I want to do is I want to say add the object. Okay, so now I've added it. Um, okay, so what if what if the spot is not null? Um, in that case, we need to loop over all of the things that are in this array list to see if our key is already present there. Because if it is, then we just want to update the value. So let's do that. We'll say for entry, entry in array index. So remember what's happening. This, this is giving me an array list. And now I have a for each loop where I'm looping over each thing in the list located at index and assigning them one at a time to entry. And what I'm testing for is if entry.key equals the key that I'm trying to insert. And if it does, um, then I want entry.value to equal value. Um, and there should be no need to like reinsert this into the array list um, because entry here is actually a memory reference to that object inside the list. So if I change the object, I'm actually changing it inside the list. Um, but if I did find it, then I just immediately want to return and I'm gonna return false as a way of indicating that no new values got inserted. If I get to the end of this whole process and I never exited, that means my thing wasn't in there. Um, so I can say, chaining at index, um, and this is not how, like this is just for us to see what's happening. Ordinarily you would want it to just be silent about whether or not it was chaining. Um, and what we'll do is we'll add E there and we'll return true as a way of saying that we actually changed, or we actually inserted something. And then now there's no way for us to exit down there. Okay, great. So we've changed put, that makes sense now. Count still makes sense, this still makes sense. Um, let's make sure get makes sense and then we'll come back to grow array. <coughs> so get, we find the index. Uh, if it's null, that means nothing was stored there, so we'll return null. <coughs> Otherwise, again, we're gonna loop over all the things that we find there. Um, array index, 
and then if if e dot key equals the key that we're looking for, then that means we found it and we can return e dot value. Uh, if we never return it, that means that the thing that we were looking for was never in that list anywhere. So that means it doesn't exist in our map. So we'd return null on the outside here as well. Okay, cool. These two still make sense. Contains, does contains make sense? Not anymore. So now we still need to do, so all right, so we, find the index, but then same thing, we'll need to do that loop over everything. So the fact that I'm copying and pasting a lot here is maybe an indication that I should try and dry this up somehow. Um, but I wanna get to the end of thinking about this first. So here we'll return true, and then down here we'll return false, because if our key ever matches a key from the array list that we found at the index that we hashed, then we'll return true. Okay, <clears throat> that means we found it. So let's now fix grow array. So, okay, so to start with, we want this to be array list of entry. This is array list. Okay, um, now rehash values will need to change the inputs. So this is array list of entry. This is array list of entry now. <coughs> oh, I never did go back and change this. Well, that's okay. Um, so we're looping over all of the elements and if an element isn't null, we not only want to, so here now if an element is null, then we want to do this, entry e uh, array i, is that right? Yeah, because each, each element of our array now is potentially a whole list of things. So we wanna loop over the list of things and then uh, put each of the things in the list into the new into the new place. Okay, great. All right, I think that makes sense. Um, let's go ahead and test it now. So I'm going to go to the hash tester, except now I'm going to rename this hash list chaining. And let's make the initial capacity, sure, let's make it five. Let's make it like three. <clears throat> and let's run it. Okay, interesting, it's working, but we're still not, you know, I wanna see the chaining happening just to be sure that it's working. So I'm gonna make this be called Simple test. Oops, there's the simple test. Um, and I don't want to do that. Collision test. And so in my collision test, I wrote this method random string that will generate a random string of a certain length. So let's do this. Let's. Uh, Let's loop like a bunch of times, eh, maybe not that many. <laughs> let's loop that many times. <clears throat> now let's uh, map.put random string of length four. Um, and then the value is going to be i. So we're just putting like a bunch of stuff in there. And let's print the size as we're going. Okay, let's see what that looks like. Okay, great. So we are getting we are getting some chaining happening. <clears throat> uh, 
and like quite a lot at the beginning you see um, because until until we grow it enough um, oh gosh yeah so like lots and lots of chaining <laughs> but then further down well we're still getting like a little bit of chaining here but we're not getting like those big clusters of chaining all right cool um, but of course here, like we can't verify that the right things are getting stored in the right way because we're generating all of them at random. Okay, um, we'll do some better testing soon, but I'm gonna call it done for chaining. Uh, if you want to, check out the next video about linear